Hello everybody, it's time to do a barrel roll, and once again we are in Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, when we last left off, we did a little bit of a, some side stuff, but it kind of didn't work out the way I would have liked to have, have to. So, unfortunately, it didn't get a heck of a lot done. Um, today I'm going to try to get to the um, Lavina Pit, and we'll see how far into that we can get. But I'm hoping to get it done. But something tells me it's going to be one of the what's going to be the one of the last areas. So I might have to um, make it a two part, like I normally do. We'll kill the uh, monsters we've seen in the area before, and if it's not, then even better because that just means that I don't have to um, worry about too much. So here we go. So we are going to head to the pit now. I'll uh, see if there's a fast roll point as I normally do. So it does, it does look like there is. Um, it's not much of a fast roll point, but it's closer than uh, walking all the way from the town to. The next area so definitely definitely better to just fast travel there now i think i saw an evident on the way up through too so uh i'm gonna ignore that as well so it looks like we do have a few monsters along the way and there is definitely an evident up there like we have a crawler because we could get that if we wanted to but um don't want to do that today i might go through evidence a bit later on or something i'm not sure sure yet but i kind of just want to focus on the story uh now we do have a wall crawler so we may as well um May as well give it a try. Get some ivory climbing done today. There we go. So there you go. So that's basically all, all the wall crawl does. It doesn't really do a heck of a lot more than that. But we can now get all of those um, boxes that I couldn't get before. All the, all the ones that are in Evidence and all the ones that are just in, in the overworld. That just kind of hidden behind the ivory vines. So I'm trying to avoid everything if I can. But, um, you know, sometimes they're going to, they're still probably going to hit me and stuff. You know, see if they could hit me on the wall, that's for sure. I wish there was a um, quicker way to change monster to, like... So at the moment, I think to swap monster, I have to either get to an area where, like, another monster is needed, or I have to, like, go into my menu. If there's a faster way to switch monster, then I'd love to know how to, but... As far as I can tell, that's the fastest way. And we're not turning invisible. Why are we not turning invisible? Pressing the wrong button? Nope, I was pressing the right button. Don't know why I wasn't turning invisible then. Try to avoid those conchus. Just gonna head for that pit, like I said. So I, I'm hoping that the monsters that I'm seeing on the way aren't the ones that I'm supposed to be fighting as my rematch. Uh, if they are, then whoops. I guess we'll just be doing a boss today. But uh, looks like we do have another royal monster there, as we learned last time. Though definitely not ready for those. So come back and do those. What I might do is I might um do the previous royal monsters in the near future, as well as try to do the give those hard sub quests another try. Just to see if I can get them done now, because I'm a lot stronger than what I was before, and got a different companion and all that, so it might be worth. Can't get that for some reason, so it might be worth um, going in my way to do that. I really wish that Naru Naviru didn't speak every time I try to grab out a catavan, because it makes me miss the catavan sometimes, and it's really frustrating. Let's see if there's a bit of a. There should be like a bit of a reveal scene. Oh no, we might actually have a proper cutscene here. We're being watched. It wasn't that long ago. When a pit opened up in this area. Giant holes? Lights? Enraged monsters? Can't make heads or tails of anything. We'll find the pit if we go that way. Chief has mistaken you for the legendary rider who stopped the Black Blight. But if you do form a bond of kinship with Ratha, you really could become a legend. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself. I'm sure you can become a renowned rider too, buddy. <laughs> Is something wrong? Could it be that you're afraid? Because Ratha may have a terrible power? If Ratha really does have that power, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But monsties listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. They say that my buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotions. They don't have a language like us, so maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. 
I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Rafa will be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. That's the spirit. Uh -huh. Something wrong, Nabiru? <laughs> hmm. It really feels like we've been watched this whole time. <laughs> but by who? I don't see anyone. Hmm. Sweet toe beans! Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans! <sighs> Could that be... We've got trouble. We'd better hurry, buddy. Alrighty, so Ninja Cat is watching our every move. As she was previously. It's interesting that Navarro can uh, sense her, though. That's pretty cool. So it's not completely useless, it seems. He is still pretty useless, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Alright, so we're going to try to fight everything in here uh, as I go through. If I can. Um, just purely off the fact... Oh, I don't have jump. Oh, that's a shame. Um, just purely off the fact that, yeah, I think this is the last area for this zone. So I do kind of want to try to fight everything. Like I normally do, so I have a bit of a rematch with each one stuff. So, if it's not the final area, then XP, I guess. Which is still nice, because I'm not going to complain about XP. But, uh, definitely, definitely, uh, a wh big whoops if that happens. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was right. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the cold. <laughs> I'll fix that. I'll fix that in a moment. So, yeah. So, so yeah, it'll just be... Probably just be... Um, actually, I'm going to fast forward these like I did last time as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Naga fell asleep. I think that means that it will take crit damage, too. So that's, that's kind of annoying. Uh, where is... Where is... Where is... Where is... Where is... I don't have many left, I don't think, either. Oh, no, I've got enough. Yeah, that should be enough. So, there we go. Completely pointless using that on, um, Aviana, but that's fine. Oh, sorry, Avina. Drowsy Fang, did I get to sleep? Oh, gosh. Everyone's just falling asleep. We need, um, Avinia to use, um... What's it called? Uh, the healing one. The one that, like, wakes us up. Oh, doesn't matter, I'm awake now. Wide awake now. <laughs> there we go. So that yeah, now that I've now that I'm not cold anymore and all that, we can actually start doing some proper damage and countering and stuff. I should switch to a technical monster, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna bother. But um if the battle becomes too like long I will switch to a, a um technical monster, but it looks like it'll be pretty quick if that'll even with um technical monsters in play. I don't remember what this guy becomes, so I'm just going to go power just in case. Yep, that was a smart move then. I think I'm doing increased damage as well because I've got the uh, fire weapon, so... It, it is taking increased damage from that as well. And it looks like we're going for a double ult? Nope, just a single ult. Okay, no problem. that's not a problem then. There we go. So yeah, he will die from the ult, which will be good. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'll, I will use the ult, which will, it, it should just skip it, I think, because uh, it's on fast forward, which would be nice. Yeah, I'm hoping that, like I said, like normal, it's just kind of rematches, and then near the end, close to the end, I'll, I'll um, obviously stop there, and um, then I'll fight the boss in the episode after when I get close to it. It's good that there's an indication for the um, for the boss, though. I'm glad that it's not just a guess guesswork thing kind of thing. It is completely like... Oh, there's a den here, so there's probably something carrying on up, so make sure you save and heal up, kind of thing. So, I, I like it when games do that. I'm not a huge fan of when games, like, expect you to go for, like, several, um, not hours, but several minutes without save, and then be like, and then when you die, it's like, oh, you have to go all the way back to the save that you clearly, um, didn't need to do. So, like, we could have been nice and given you a save sooner, but nah, bugger that. Do have a rock breaker, so that means we can get to this here. And once again, I will switch to um, the Nagakuga just for the stealth. It's purely for the stealth. Having the stealth is the best thing in the world. So we do have a Gypsurus here. We have fought a couple of these in the past, and now we will fight one more. <laughs> 
So, I'm going to try to kill the, um... Uh, what's... Uh, I'm having a really bad time with remembering stuff at the moment. The uh, Benhabara first. Because having extra, like, nuisances is just annoying. So... They yeah, unfortunately aren't going to take a lot of damage, though. Both of the monsters went for, um, the... Um... What are they called? Um... Uh, monster. So. You said the technical one, though. Yeah, so they will be they will be frostbane. But I think it dies anyway. Yep. Yeah, when a weaker monster attacks a stronger monster, they're just going to lose no matter what. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it just hap it just happens that way. Yeah, these battles are going to be fast, even with the even without the fast forward. But the fast forward just makes it a little bit more tolerable for everybody. So. Again, the Gypsaurus is already down, so that was very quick. Um, very quick downing on that. Uh, is his tail weak to fight? No, so it is just both weak to sword, so I'm just going to switch the sword here. There we go. Now, again, we I don't know if we'll see every monster, because I know that last time we didn't actually see every monster. We only saw... Um, I think we saw most monsters, but we didn't see every single monster. So... So, 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 okay, never mind. I guess I'm wrong there. We do have a, we do have a bit of a power clash here. There we go. It should get angry here, I think, too. But, um, I don't know, didn't even get angry. I guess it's too exhausted. I was gonna say, it's not gonna matter anyway, because it's gonna die from the, uh, double ult, so. Let's go for its tail here. There we go, so that should be defeated. It is. If anything flees, I'll also try to grab their eggs, because I don't think I have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of stronger versions of what they are. Um, it does look like I did get its rare drop, though. I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, I did go to Gypsaurus head, so. I think the, I think you get, like, a highly, a high, very high chance if you break its head, so. That's why I always break its head first. Then the fact that it knocks it over, so. You know, not a, not a necessarily a bad thing to do. Um. I think I got turned around though I did, so I want to go up this way. There is something over here, both things. Yep, so what's this? Is this like a hot spring or something? Yep, I guess we're going to get told what it is. Greetings, travelers. Are you ready to have the thrill of your nine lives with the famous loving the uh, Gerza Jump? Gerza Jump? I don't know what about you, but I thought felines and water don't mix well. Don't worry, your whiskers. It's 100% safe, guaranteed. Plus, there's no other way around. Uh, there's no other way forward, anyway. There's just some rules and clauses to go over first. The guys are numbered by destination. It's your own responsibility to make sure you uh, use the correct geyser. Guess we don't really have a choice. Crazy as it sounds, it could be a fun new experience. Let's do this. Alright, so, yeah, I don't really know. Alright, so that guy, so that guy's is numbered one. Okay, so I don't really understand. I, I'm guessing I have to just remember. It's going to be one of those remember where you get put kind of situations. I really hope I don't have to watch that every time. It's going to get really annoying really fast if I have to watch that every single time. And we do crash land into the snow as well. <laughs> okay. So it's similar to it's similar to being um, dispatched by a... Um, uh, oh, what are they called? Catavan. So that's interesting. So it looks like we have a climbable wall over here. Just got a chest up there. I can probably, I'll, I'll probably will grab that. I really wish that there was um, faster ways to swap monsters, because I don't think there is. I'm trying to like find a button for it. Nah, there definitely isn't. Because the Naga, the Naga Cougar is only the best to travel with, but um, you definitely want to use the other ones for other things. So, so what's this one here? So this guy's number two. All right. There doesn't seem to be any enemies around here either, which is interesting. So maybe they just did that to speed up the guys' stuff. Brute Wyverns and the So yeah, they're pretty... I will eventually, like, actually upgrade my monsters as well. I've been kind of lazy when it comes to that. Um, in the sense that... Oh my gosh. In the sense that, um... I haven't been doing that. But you can, like, put different abilities and stuff on monsters that... Um... I must have run into a contra or something. On monsters that wouldn't normally like have those kind of skills so like a, for example you can put a um you can put like an ice move on a on a fire monster or something like that which is kind of silly but also kind of fantastic 
But um, I haven't been doing it a lot because I just don't... You don't really need to. I think it's more for like if you want to have just super broken monsters then you do it. But you're normally pretty good with just the basic stuff. Especially if you get like the gold ones. Um, I went through the first game with pretty much just doing like just doing what I wanted and that worked out fine so yeah there's no repercussions to, to, to not do it really but um yeah so it does make things easier uh, what was this thing again it was technical wasn't it because speed just went no that's power because speed just went against it yeah that's fine all right so we'll get to the sword yeah, I, I, I am enjoying this game, for what it's worth, but um, it is a little bit slow, especially with some battles, but um, that's okay. Yay, attack up. That's why we have the fast forward button after all, so it is going to put its snow mantle on. Yeah, this is one of those monsters that I knew would take a little bit more of a beating than um, the previous ones, but we are doing... Still roughly, like, enough. We're still doing a lot of damage to it, it's just that I'm not getting double attacks off as often as I would like to be. So it looks like I haven't really done anything with the, um, Pierce, so I'm gonna actually do that this time. Even though it's probably not gonna be super affected by Pierce in any way, shape, or form, but... Yeah. I can't remember if it changes here. I think it does, doesn't it? Um... I got power just in case it doesn't. I did. I was right to change there. Also switch out my monster so that I'm actually doing, um, bigger damage to it as well. So, I also got to put um, Heartfelt Gift on one of these monsters eventually too, because otherwise I'm just going to be like in trouble if I ever need hit, uh, quick healing. And I also need to find a, another, uh, I think it's Speed Monster that I actually want to use, because so far I'm not finding a lot of those either. So, that's not great either. Unfortunately, uh, with it attacking Frostfang, it's always going to lose, because I'm pretty sure like Frostfang doesn't really use power attacks at all. I think it uses technical sometimes, but that's sometimes, so... There we go, so we'll go for its um, claw this time. Once again, very little damage, about what I expected. I think most parts are going to be weak to... Um, are more than likely going to be weak to the blunt weapons, because... I mean, they're, they're blunt weapons, enough said. Yes, yeah, screw it, we'll go for a double attack on um, on this uh, J-Barrack. It'll, it'll be good for um, killing it quickly. Let's go for its tail, why not? It's not going to be happy about this, I don't think. <laughs> no. So the part pretty much pretty much fully broke there. Um, with a little bit more damage, it will actually break. Like that. Oh, and it is down. Wow, I didn't expect it to go down from its tail being broken. That's disappointing. So what can I hit here? Alright, okay, so this is, um, it is just going back to its normal, so I'm going to actually use a skill on it. It'll be much more worth it. This thing's pretty cool looking, design-wise. I really like the design of the, um, of the Jade Barrier, so that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we get a big crit there. Yep. And it is defeated. So it seems like the Gypsaurus is one of the only ones that, like, r has a higher chance of fleeing when it's knocked down. Because it hasn't come up for anybody else that I've seen so far. Uh, this is just like normal drops, so nothing, nothing to write home about there, unfortunately. I forgot they have to press A once you press collect all. Uh, a little bit shocked that it doesn't just auto give you everything, but that's okay. There we go. So hopefully, um, like I said, hopefully this this um, maze thing isn't too difficult. Like this, um, uh, what do you want to call it? These guys aren't super tough, but I said they're probably just a memory thing, so. I'm not really trying to collect everything. I probably should, because I know that there's probably better stuff, so yeah. We'll, trick, we'll try guys at three, because I go off rule of thumb, which is that if you're given a first option, in this case guys are two, you always take the other one. <laughs> so, uh, how do I get up there? Oh, it looks like, a, looks like a jump place. So yeah, unfortunately I don't have a jumper at the moment. I probably could have a jumper, but yeah, I'm stubborn. I have to like... I'd have to like rearrange everything and all that, so it does take a little bit to just get a jump off. Alright, so that's just number two again. So that'll probably take us to number two. I imagine that it would all, it's just, they're just all gonna shoot where they would normally shoot. Now we have fought a baggy already, so we're gonna avoid those. Remember, it is 
uh, typically just one rematch per monster, but if I accidentally walk into one, I will take it anyway. So I think I've still got Kazu and most of the Woodland um, monsters, but they might not—they may not show up because they um, like they're Woodland ones, and I don't know if the mountain's gonna have any woods. So yeah, I'll we'll just keep going and see what we find. This is Actually, if I'm being completely honest, this area doesn't have a, a lot of monsters to fight as it is. Like, normally there's a lot more. Am I already at the boss? There's no way I'm already at the boss. There's absolutely no way I've already found the boss. Really? Hang on. This is just going to be a side area. Alright, well, I'll fight this Kezu. Just in case that I have somehow summoned across the boss, then at least I'll have another monster that I fought in this area. Um... Normally I would go for the little ads first, but I actually really want that head broken as quickly as possible. Because uh, we had a little bit of trouble with that head last time, so I want to try to get rid of it before it becomes a huge issue. Oh, my God, I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Um, it's alright. I've got people who can heal me. Pretty sure the... Um, if it's the hammer again, I'm going to be annoyed, but we'll see. We'll see. I know, just going for a technical. Okay, no, there we go. So it is Pierce. That's it. So that's one of those ones where I where it's um not often, but sometimes you just get a Pierce. Um, it's just a Pierce uh, damage, is the head damage, which is interesting. So the Naga is weak to the Kazu. All right, I have to I have to be careful of that. We might lose a life here if it's attacking the uh, Naga again. It's not though, so that's okay. Oh, actually, no, so it might, it might still be, but I don't know yet. Ooh, okay. And it is already angry. Fantastic. So this is just... We're just going to take lots of damage constantly here. That's why I really wanted to break its head quickly, but it decided to just attack the Naga constantly, so that was annoying. Yep, that's going to do lots of damage to everyone. And unfortunately, it does knock down my Naga, which is not great, because that means he's going to take uh, double damage when he does it again. I am going to try to help... Um, Thing you heal here though, just try to keep us all alive. Don't know if it's going to do anything, but I'd rather only lose one life than lose multiple. So there's its second raw. Yep. I wish our monsters were actually attacking with moves that were actually going to damage it, but that's that's okay. It's whatever. Uh, it's going to do it again, so I'm going to throw another life suit up. Looks like um, the chick's going to use our. Uh, uh, Evini is going to use the life suit as well. Yep, there we go. It's going to come with its electric attack now, I'm pretty sure. I really wish we had broken that head. Yep, so there we go. So Evini did get paralyzed as well, which is not great. So I'm going to try to... Um, I'm actually going to swap out the Naga Kuga because he is not doing great. So we'll go with the Azurus. Okay. I don't think, I don't feel like I'm near the boss. If I'm near the boss, I'm going to be kind of a bit surprised. But we will see. I'm surprised she went with the uh, health rather than the other one, but that's fine. It's fine. We still need the healing, so I'm not, I'm not complaining in, in the slightest. I, again, I wish that, um, I wish that the frost ring there would do a little bit more than just cycling all the time, so we were actually doing damage, but again, not much I can do about that. So we do have a power clash here, so it might get mad after this as well, so we'll have to see. And it didn't go down from its head being broken, so it must be a chest down uh, monster. Mm, do I want to ride? Yeah, we'll ride. See if we can... Um, well, we can cancel its move, so we'll see if we can just keep it cancelled for a little bit. Hunt this claw. Okay, yeah, so that did a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, Aviana... Sorry, Vinia did get um, paralyzed there. He's going to the technical attack. More health for everyone. So it's not weak. So its body is not weak to um, Dingo. I'm glad that it... So it is mad here. I don't actually remember what it becomes when it's mad. So I'm going to go with um, technical. And I'm also, I'm also going to switch my um, my weapon out. See if I can get its chest weakness while I'm here. That's kind of another reason why I like to try to get the last... Um, Oh, so it does win against me there. That's another reason why I like to try to get the, the um, every single, like, I'd like to um, refight them too. I like to get the last of the 
basically equipment that I'm... Well, not equipment, sorry, the um, things I'm missing as well. So Double attack. So this monster just doesn't go down. Yeah, we broke both its, both its body parts and it's still not going down, so... I guess it doesn't really have a weakness. There we go. And it is defeated, so that's good. Will it retreat? No, not today. I don't think we have a Kezu, so it would have been nice to see it retreat. Uh, it does look like we got its rare drop though, so we got Flubby Hides, so there we go, yeah, we got two Pale Bones, and we also got its uh, webbing, which we've had before, so that's pretty good, that's a pretty good drop, I uh, can't complain too much about that, not the uh, best drop we've had, oh, actually, two rares, no, that's, yeah, that's a pretty decent drop, yeah, I think it is actually is the best drop we had, because it had two rares and an uncommon, ooh, so there is a red Kezu over there, um, that's a new monster, so I'm actually going to go fight that, but I want to heal first, so I'm going to head over to the den. Now again, I'm not too sure if this den indicates that, we are, that we're near the boss or not. Normally it does, but this one seems a little out of place, so I'm not too sure. Um, of course, as always, I'll grab the, um, the life, yep, things. That's life powder. That's, that'll be good. That'll be very good. I don't think I have the recipe for life powder yet, but if I get the recipe for life powder, that would be the best. So, there we go. So we are going to head out. I'll make the red Kezu the last fight for um, for now, and I'll continue on um, in the next episode and see if we are near the boss. I didn't think we were, but um, if we are, then awesome. That's a very quick, very quick dungeon. Thanks, thank, very thankful for that. It just seems a little bit um, out of place, I want to say. So it will be a very quick, uh, will be a very quick straight to boss fight, which I haven't really done before. But we'll see. So we will go for the um I will go for the Kezu with the um hammer, just because I want to try to get those um weaknesses out. Oh wait, no, that's right, it's a red Kezu, so it has different weaknesses. I actually forgot about that. Whoops. Yeah, I can't even see its HP, wow. So this thing might be stronger all round than the um Kezu itself, so I'm gonna have to be very um very careful of how I handle this. So I actually might be a bit more tactical this time, and I actually will use an Azur the Azurus. Because last time I just had the Naga out the whole time, and he was doing the AoE, which dealt with the little ones, which is great, but I wasn't doing a lot of damage to the um, the head, and that was um, that was not great, because we needed to break that head quickly. Yeah, so that's much better damage. I wish I, um, I wish that she was attacking the head too, but that's okay. And I would have liked it much, much preferred if he went with um, not Frost Strike. <laughs> But, uh, that's okay. There we go. We are doing a lot of head damage, which is good. I'm not sure what the Kez is going for, though, because it didn't really. Ooh, okay. So that's different. So that didn't. So the um, other one didn't do that. Ooh, it changed its. Um, it changed its thing when it charged. It went from uh, technical to speed. Wasn't expecting that. There goes that Conchu. Yep. So this is going to do a lot of damage, I think. Yep. Ooh, okay. I might swap out. Um, can't lose this, otherwise the Azurus will actually die, so i got to be careful there. So it did switch to speed, so I'm actually going to swap out my monster to um, technical. So we do, have a, we do have a couple of new technicals here, but because we haven't seen the Narsilia all that much, I will use um, the Narsilia. And yeah, I guess we'll just go for the body. So I can do really. I had to get a double attack really early. That's really good. It's really good. That should kill the Conchu as well. It has indeed. So yeah, now we just gotta focus on the um on the thing right now. No, not switch monsters. I want to yeah, there we go. So it does seem to be doing something different, so it might be going for a super attack here. This actually could hurt a lot. Yeah, so it is going for Thunder Breath. So definitely. I, think, I don't think it's a new move, but definitely not a move that Kez has used, so. It does just hit one target though, so that's good, that's good. Alright, so we are just going to keep attacking it. Oops, I shouldn't have gone technical. It's, yeah, it switched to technical. I forgot. <laughs> so I will take we'll take a bit of damage here, yep. I'm also a way to electricity. Alright, I guess I'm just all around way to electricity. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunately dying, so I'm not going to be able to see its... Um, the uh, ultimate from um, the Nasilia, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's alright. 
can't have it all. Alright, so what does that mean? Does it mean I can't attack? You know, I'm gonna attack and see what happens. I'm probably gonna take damage here, though. Oh, never mind. It's irrelevant, because the red Kezu is um, is already down. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, I don't really... Um, I don't really have any of the monsters here, so I might do an episode where I'm just getting the monsters here. Uh, so there's nothing really interesting, just the Lurian hype. Um, but that's pretty much... That's pretty much, like, all the monsters anyway in the ice, because a lot of the monsters in the ice were in the woods as well, and there didn't seem to be any woods here, so... Unfortunately... Yeah, well, this does look like an exit to a cave, so this actually might be the end. That's... This is a very short area. I wonder why that is. Alright, well, I guess next episode we will be fighting the boss. That's a lot sooner than I expected. Um... Maybe this isn't the final area. Maybe I was wrong. So, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to be wrong, but we did fight, we did refight a lot of the monsters we saw. Just wasn't um, nearly as many as I expected. So, yeah, it's a bit, bit unfortunate, a little bit unfortunate, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, wherever you are, stay safe and be well.